Hi, welcome to Robert's Country Kitchen today. I am making a pumpkin pie, and this has been specially requested by Douglas today. Um, he hasn't had one in a couple of years, so he requested I make him one today, so that's what I'm going to do. Today's ingredients um, calls for one standard pie crust from your local frozen dairy, or you can get Pillsbury, make your own. Calls for salt, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, as well as ginger, and that will be six tablespoons of brown sugar. We're gonna have a, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of clove, a pinch of ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of the nutmeg. Okay, and you also want your heavy whipping cream, a cup and, a, cup and one half of whipping cream. You want that, you want your three eggs, all the, these two ingredients, as well as the pumpkin, the Libby's pumpkin here. I'm gonna set this back up here all your way, guys. They all need to be set at room temperature to make sure that these um, things mix well inside the blender and you know come together. Because as well as the pie crust, don't make sure that it's at room temperature and it's soft and it's warm, and not cold. Because when you put a pie mix into a pie shell that's cold you could have some things toward the end of baking that you're not going to see such as cracking and that makes some people upset but anyhow i don't get upset so our main ingre our main ingredients that we're going to throw together today is i'm going to start opening my pumpkin pumpkin 100 percent and we're gonna open that first. I like using Libby's pumpkin because it's got more of a color. It's more pretty. And some pumpkins, or you could get your own gourd at your local store uh, and make your own, you know, pumpkin. But they're, they tend to be a little bit more paler or whatever. So, you know, anyhow. I am going to get something to get this up now. <laughs> and we'll move on, y'all. Let's see. I need to... Let's see. Why am I getting a... Well, I guess I'm on a fork. So I'm fork. But I'm going to get a spoon. Clean that fork. Be very careful when removing these lids, you guys, because they will cut you hard. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to spoon our ingredients, all of our ingredients. See how bright orange that is? Yeah. We're going to spoon all of our ingredients into our little mixer over here. We got a mixer on the counter that I'm going to keep over here, really. These little things, uh, my paper cups, get them out of the way. Uh, so I'm gonna lift it up. Yeah. That's a clean countertop. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna stick this right here. I'm gonna try and get everything out of the way here. Back up, heavy cream, out of the way, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw you back here, salt, brown sugar. You go over here or over there somewhere. Get out of the way. Let's see. And you sit right there. I'm going to set you right there, egg wife. Okay. And you sit right there in front of the camera. So we're going to put the salt, the clove, the cinnamon, the ginger nutmeg. We're going to dash that down into the pan. Pan, listen to me. So I told you I was making comedy with that. Into the mixer, y'all. And then all them yellow spices. Then we're going to take our brown sugar. Throw it down in there. As them, oh gosh, that smells good. I only have smell of this, and y'all can smell that. Ooh, this house gonna be smelling yummy. And you'll take your three eggs at warm, at uh, room temperature. No egg tail. I always do this at work. I'm gonna really get that. I don't want it now, but when I did, I'm currently disabled. And I love working in the kitchen at home. I need to fix uh, our kitchen for my little baby. Making him happy. 
Some more please. I'll make you happy, don't I do? <laughs> And uh, so I'm gonna get this going. Okay, now before we get this going, I've got to spin the pumpkin. Let's see here. Okay, this is really pretty colorful. Now I wanted to tell you too. Always make sure that your brown sugar. It's mixed good, like it's powdery. That fell out, but I swear it's powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar. I told you there was another joke. I swear that I had got it and it was to point to where it needed to be. It's supposed to be kind of like where it's not clumped together. So I mashed mine all out with a uh, Spoon or fork, actually, and it was all right. Okay, I think Jason, I saw a pumpkin. You get out of there, sir. That can only stretches so far. You know what I mean? Okay, we'll keep this for in case we need it. Okay, and then here's the train. I knew I had me for different pickles and for reason. Take one. Right there's one at room temperature. We're over in there. Put one half. I think I ain't gonna put all that. It don't look like I need all that. If you're looking at the cooking, it looks like it's gonna get way too much. Stop. Don't put no more. Take that from a cook out of a kitchen for two years. I know that went a long time, but I cook, me too, I cook, I don't follow instructions all the time, I follow instructions as need be, if that makes sense. Okay, then you don't put your mixer down, I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to mix that slowly, I'm going to mix that slowly. I always want to make sure to taste it too. I think it will make it better. You don't want to be up bitter pumpkin pie. Y'all, this is my first time, so you ought to be proud of me. Oh yeah, you looking good. Stop it. I'm going to try some. Yeah, I wish y'all could taste this. <laughs> it's perfect. You're gonna like this too. Okay, you're gonna take your pie crust out. We're gonna remove this from here. We're gonna take our pie crust out. Here comes our next step. Easter's on the way, Doug. <laughs> 
slowly but surely, darling. We gotta have service tonight, Dad. Let's see. Okay, now, when you got your pie, take this filling. Let me get my big measuring cup here. Goodness, I wish it had more of a. Slide this back over for a second. And what I'm gonna do now, since I've got it, take your little brush and just stir your little egg wash together. So hard to, I need the pizza plate, y'all. Yeah. Excuse me, that one made that was my foot twisting. The other foot sounds sorry this morning or evening. No, say I can do this. Oh. Sounds like a fart. That's a joke, y'all. Anyway, okay, back to the video. Um, I'm gonna take this egg wash and um, I'm just gonna brush it. I know I put some on the inside, but see, I use a little bit on the inside because it's gonna cook anyhow. I like brushing the outer thing. It's about to get getting crispy on the inside. It just tastes like an egg. So some people say, like, hey, why are you putting an egg down in your... Everybody's different. Don't like it, don't watch. Just kidding. But look, if you watch different people make different things, you learn it every day. Okay, so your egg wash aside. Now learning is half the battle, like G.I. Joe says in the old cartoon. Oh, yeah. Take your pie filling. You want to pour this in your measuring thing. That was an old saying. Learning is half the battle. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of that. Remember why I told you to keep that spoon next to you? I need that spoon. And I'm gonna have to get another one, girlfriend. Let's see. Something that y'all I am doing stunts back here behind the scenes. You know why? Because my the bottom of my mixer didn't get all these seasons out. Gotta have them seasoning. I can't go back there right now, I'm filming. I'm going to be able to go back in probably 20 minutes. I'm going to bake this and then... I'll be back on later with a taste test. I got some more stuff coming today. So this is the Easter. What I'll do is I'll get it down in the cup. Just mix it good. You may may do three takes though. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. I hope you like it though. Doe Do requested it, y'all. He said he wanted a pumpkin pie. He don't like sweet potato. There's the answer, y'all. Okay, so after you got your filling, pay, cl pay close attention because I want you to see what's up here. After you got your filling, I'm gonna put it on this side that one up in your way. Take it and that pour it much better. in the middle and then go around the edges. I think it's the nutmeg taste I like. And don't go crazy and don't overfill. I don't know when 
I'm doing good and let's see. Back here. Don't finger the food. Yeah, don't finger any food, people. Don't get too funny. That's double chip, dip the chip, like they say in Seinfeld. Uh, so. Did you double dip the chip? Let's see. Okay, your pie should look like that. It's gonna be your pumpkin pie before it's cooked. Again, remember to stick a toothpick in it again to check to see if it's done when it gets out of the oven. Exactly. It should be dry, not wet. Yeah. Okay, now this is an uncooked pumpkin pie. You saw my steps, what I went through. It is the uh, six tablespoons of brown sugar, um, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cloves, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And that's the mix, and you want to put that together into your blender, and then throw you in a pitch of ginger as well. Add three eggs at room temperature, that goes in your blender as well. Heavy cream, one and a half cup, that goes in the blender as well. Brush your crust as I did and showed you here, inside or around the edges, whatever you would like to do, with an egg wash, one only, or two, or however many you want to use, so it don't take the one. Then you're going to bake it in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes. Woo. Then we're going to reduce your heat to 350 degrees, and then we're going to bake the center until it's jiggly and soft. But you're going to do it softly. You're not going to do this. Do it real soft. See if it jiggles. Y'all people out there, especially y'all women out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know how to cook. Um, so the total bake time of this whole thing is going to be about 40 minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I've had my oven preheating on 400. Oh yeah, she's getting hot, she's ready to go. Okay, so y'all gonna turn with me. Let me get some things on the way here. Okay, let me do that. Oh, it smells like it's ready. Oh, I know it's ready. Okay, y'all, we're going to the oven because I want you to see me throwing it in the oven. I'm throwing it in there. But I'm going to put it in there. Call it that. Hit my tripod down a little bit. Sorry, y'all, I'm throwing it in the Okay, Jake, can we just walk her back a little bit home, please? If you don't mind. I want you to get snagged on it, Ernie. You alright? And you're doing that to be funny. Oh, you're doing that to be funny. Let's see, where is my... Let's see, where is my... Oh, God, that's hot. Yeah, it's ready. I feel heat. Oh, yeah. It's ready. So you back out. This is it, y'all. I'm going in the oven. Let's talk to Alexa. I know what she's doing with a rag. Alexa. Alexa. Start timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. Be very careful. And here she goes, y'all, for 15 minutes. And this has been Robert's Country Cooking. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, comment, and like the video, um, because it, it does help the algorithm on YouTube for me. Um, when the pie gets done after 40 minutes, I will be back, and I will show you that. Um, 
on the table, I have a piece of it cut out, and Doug's going to try it for us. And he's going to just destroy it. He loves doing his videos. Okay, until then, happy Easter. We love everybody. And Doug, you got anything to say? No, I'm good. Like, share, subscribe, and be kind to each other. Yeah. Okay, well, we love you. So, until then, uh, we'll talk to you later. It's been Robert's Country Cooking.